During the time of 2000, internet companies, don't forget, there were hospital.com, there was pets.com. Um, most of the internet companies were not profitable. Uh, and the size of the whole net internet industry was about 20, 30 billion dollars, if you recall. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, today, even in the absence of open AI and anthropic, this entire hyperscale industry is being powered by AI. And so the first thing to observe is that whole thing needs to go from classical CPUs with classical machine learning to now deep learning with AI. Mm -hmm. So that transition alone is hundreds of billions of dollars. They called it a bubble. They compared it to the dot-com era. But according to Jensen Huang, the man who built the infrastructure powering this revolution, this time is different. In his recent interview at Sequoia Capital, NVIDIA's legendary CEO shattered the bubble narrative and laid out a vision that's nothing short of historic. He said the AI revolution isn't speculation, it's industrialization. The rise of what he calls AI factories, massive data centers that manufacture intelligence, marks the beginning of a new economic cycle, one that could reshape global productivity for decades. Huang explained it simply. In 2000, the internet was a collection of ideas with no profits. Today, AI is already driving trillions in real economic value for the world's most profitable companies. Google, Microsoft, Meta, Amazon, all powered by NVIDIA hardware, and a vast network of partners supplying everything from chips and networking to cooling, storage, and power systems. This isn't just NVIDIA's story, it's the story of an entire ecosystem that's still in its early innings. And that's the part many investors are missing. Beyond the mega caps and headline names, there's a much larger AI supply chain, companies quietly building the memory, servers, and connectivity that keep this revolution running. These are the unsung heroes of the AI era, and as demand for data centers and AI infrastructure explodes, they're stepping into the spotlight. So in today's video, we're diving into three overlooked AI infrastructure leaders that sit at the core of this trillion dollar transformation. They're not household names, but they're helping build the very foundation of the global AI economy, and they could define the next phase of growth in this unstoppable revolution. Let's begin with one of the most essential players in the AI supply chain, Micron Technology Inc., ticker symbol MU. While NVIDIA and AMD often capture headlines, Micron quietly produces the memory technology that makes their AI accelerators possible. Every large language model, every AI computation, and every data inference depends on one critical resource, high-performance memory. And that's where Micron leads the charge. Micron's latest breakthrough, its HBM3E memory, now powers NVIDIA's most advanced AI chips, the H200 and the upcoming Blackwell GPUs. These ultra-fast memory modules deliver over 9.2 gigabits per second in speed and 30% better energy efficiency than competitors, enabling AI models to train faster and consume less power. In simple terms, Micron isn't just selling components, it's supplying the lifeblood of the global AI infrastructure. What makes this story even stronger is the geopolitical shift happening right now. Thanks to the Chips and Science Act, the U.S. government is bringing semiconductor manufacturing back home, and Micron is leading that movement with over $6 billion in federal support to expand production in Idaho and New York. As Korean rivals like Samsung and SK Hynix build in the U.S., they lose their cost advantage, leveling the field and giving Micron a strategic edge in its home market. Historically, Micron's business was highly cyclical, tied to consumer electronics demand. But AI is rewriting that story. The explosion in data center and server memory requirements means demand is no longer tied to smartphone upgrades. It's structural, long-term, and accelerating. With inflation cooling and growth capital returning to tech, Micron is positioned at the heart of a megatrend that's still in its early phase. As Jensen Huang said, AI factories are the new industrial revolution, and Micron is one of the few companies supplying the critical materials that make those factories run. If Micron provides the memory that fuels AI, Super Microcomputer Inc., ticker SM, MCI builds the hardware that brings it all to life. While chip makers design the brains of AI, Supermicro builds the bodies, the servers, racks, and cooling systems that house those chips and make them operational inside data centers. Supermicro has quietly become one of the most vital infrastructure suppliers in the global AI ecosystem. Its modular, liquid-cooled servers are now the backbone of many hyperscale data centers, from cloud providers to enterprise AI developers. In its latest quarter, revenue jumped 25% sequentially to $5.7 billion, proving that demand for its systems is only accelerating as companies race to deploy AI clusters. Yet despite that incredible growth, 
the market continues to underestimate Supermicro. After recent tariff headlines sparked short-term volatility, the stock is now trading at less than one times forward revenue, a rare valuation for a company so deeply embedded in the world's fastest-growing tech sector. The concern around margins has been overblown. As production scales and AI server demand grows exponentially, Supermicro's operational efficiency is expected to strengthen. More importantly, the company has strategically aligned itself with the biggest names in the industry, NVIDIA, Broadcom, and Intel, giving it direct exposure to the build out of next-generation AI infrastructure. Its US-based manufacturing also gives it a long-term advantage amid growing trade tensions and government incentives for domestic production. As interest rates stabilize and investors rotate back into growth, companies enabling data center expansion are emerging as the true beneficiaries of this new cycle. Supermicro may not have the glamour of a trillion-dollar chip designer, but it's building the physical foundation of what Jensen Huang calls AI factories. And in a world where compute demand doubles every year, Supermicro's role in assembling the hardware of the future is becoming impossible to ignore. The final company on our list takes us deeper into the high-speed digital highways that connect all of these AI factories together. Marvel Technology Inc ticker symbol MRVL, is one of the world's leading innovators in custom AI silicon and high-performance networking chips, the technology that moves intelligence between servers at lightning speed. While Marvel has underperformed this year compared to its peers, that underperformance has created one of the most compelling turnaround stories in the semiconductor space. The company has completely pivoted to an AI-first strategy, divesting non-core segments and focusing on its rapidly expanding custom silicon business. This division now serves top hyperscalers like Amazon and Microsoft, building tailor-made chips optimized for AI workloads. In its most recent quarter, Marvel's data center revenue jumped 69% year over year, now representing nearly three quarters of its total sales. The company recently raised its total addressable market for custom silicon to $94 billion by 2028, a 26% increase from prior estimates, and revealed over 50 new pipeline opportunities with a combined lifetime revenue potential of $75 billion. What's even more exciting is that Marvel is turning these opportunities into profits. Its adjusted EBIT margin reached 34.8%, while earnings per share grew more than 120% year over year. These are clear signs that operating leverage is kicking in as the company scales. Meanwhile, its electro-optics business, strengthened by the InFi acquisition, has quintupled in size and is now central to powering the ultra-fast data movement that modern AI clusters require. In an environment where the world's largest companies are racing to expand data center capacity, Marvel sits at the intersection of connectivity and intelligence. It's the digital nervous system linking the memory, compute, and power systems that define AI infrastructure. As global AI spending surges into the trillions, Marvel is positioned as one of the most critical yet underappreciated players in making that future possible. As Jensen Huang said, this isn't a bubble, it's a revolution. The AI economy is already generating real productivity, real revenue, and real transformation across industries. And while NVIDIA continues to dominate headlines, the broader AI ecosystem, from memory and servers to connectivity and custom silicon, is just beginning to reveal its true potential. Micron Supermicro and Marvel each represent a different piece of this puzzle. The memory, the hardware, and the network. Together forming the backbone of what will become the largest infrastructure expansion of our lifetime. The AI supply chain is vast, and its impact is only accelerating as companies worldwide race to build the next generation of intelligent systems. So as we step into this new era, remember, the biggest opportunities often lie not at the center of the spotlight, but in the unseen machinery powering the future of intelligence.